Good morning, everybody. How's it going? Oh, good morning. Can't even see you. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Was anybody else really surprised to uh, look outside this morning and see snow all over the ground? We were certainly surprised. It kind of, uh, we are going to show you where bees live today, and so we're gonna. It's going to be fun. So for those of you who are just joining us for the first time, every Wednesday at 11 o'clock, we're showing a live show all about bees. Um, if you've missed some of the episodes, you can catch up on our blog, geesbees.ca slash blog. We have a post with the last episodes. James is here with us too. Can you see me, James? There we go. And uh, we're excited to have you watching us. So today we're going to talk about where bees live, not just uh, honeybees, but also bumblebees. So we've got three different bees that we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about bumblebees. Bumblebees, they're awfully cute. We're going to talk about where mason bee live, where masons, mason bees live. They are solitary bees, so unlike the other bees, they don't live in a colony, they live all by themselves. And then we're also going to talk about Honeybees, of course, which are the bees that we care for here at G's Bees. So, let me just, uh, there's Matt again. Want to say anything? <laughs> and maybe Abby will join us too. So let's start by talking about bumblebees. So bumblebees, there's a little bumblebee. They're still not out yet because it's cold and there are no flowers. But bumblebees, they live in nests of about 20 different bees. They look like furry little flying pandas, don't they? With their cute fur. And unlike honeybees that live in, in, in families of 50,000 bees, bumblebees just live in colonies of about 20. So, last year, I'm gonna turn this around, we had a bumblebee colony move into this birdhouse and we're going to open it this morning and see inside so unlike other bees bumblebees Mommy. don't live in the same spot year after year they over with the queen bee will leave and she will uh, hibernate in a big pile of leaves somewhere and so there's no bees in this colony but we're going to take james? a look and see james do you want to look inside with dad let's take a look and see so this is what a bumblebee nest looks like. It's very different from a honeybee colony, a honeybee hive. And so do we want to, can we pull anything out? Are we going to be curious and look? So there were last, there, last year there were bumblebees living in here. What, what bumblebees tend to do is they, they find an old mouse nest that was built outside in the ground somewhere or in a tree. And then they move into the little mouse nest and they clear out a spot and then they, the queen will go in there and lay a bunch of worker bees to help her start the colony going. And then they, they'll go out through the summer and, and collect pollen and nectar just to keep feeding the new little bees throughout the summer. James, what would you like to say? I know this is a silly Easter because it snowed, but it's melting fast. It is melting fast. Want to show everybody what you found this morning? What's a turkey feather. A turkey feather, that's right. Okay, so that's where bumblebees live. They live in little colonies. Sometimes they live, sometimes they live underground also. So sometimes you'll see bumblebees coming from the ground. Um, here's another picture of what a bumblebee nest looks like. You can see it on the ground there. See those little, they look like little pods with holes in them. Well, the queen bumblebee, she will lay an egg in each of those and that's where the bumblebees will live. So the next, Bee that we're going to talk about is a little bit different from the beautiful bumblebee that we just saw. This bee is called a mason bee. Now mason bees, they 
live all by themselves. So bumblebees live with about 20 other bees. Honeybees live with about 50,000 other bees and mason bees live all by themselves. So what happens with, uh, with them is that they build a little house just for themselves. And what they'll do is they'll pick out holes in a tree. Or maybe you've seen these types of homes. They're called mason bee houses or solitary bee houses. And what happens is that the little queen or the little bee, she will go in there and she will lay some eggs and then she's going to cover it over with mud to make a little cocoon. And then over the winter, the eggs will develop into bees. And then in the spring, they're going to hatch. So um, we're going to show you. I'm going to show you what ours from last year looked like. You want to take that one? So this is our mason bee house. We're going to build a bigger one this year. And we left it alone all, all, um, all summer to see what would happen. And come in here close. You can you can see. Look right here, right there. There's a, it's all packed with with mud. And right here, it's all packed with mud. And up here too. There's all kinds of little. Some of these holes have got. They've been filled up. So a, a mason bee or a solitary bee has come along and has laid her eggs in there and covered it up. And now, as spring is coming, there's going to be an adult bee that comes out of here and starts pollinating flowers and she'll and then those bees will do the same thing they'll lay eggs in here and there'll be more and more bees every year so we're gonna put this in the art orchard this spring and uh, maybe we'll we'll see some mason bees flying around it later and I think do you hear do you hear Abby what do you, do you I think is Abby gonna join us I wonder it's still pretty cold I think I might hear some buzzing oh Hello, Marianne. Hi, Abby. What are you doing? Well, I just came out of my hive for a minute, and I thought I would come over and see if you wanted to come over and have a look at it. I sure do. Are your are your sisters flying around? They are. Oh, it's pretty cold. I wouldn't think they'd be out. It is pretty cold, but we can just have a quick little peek inside and okay. see what's going on. And uh, do you want to come over? I do. I do. Let's go see. Well, follow me. We'll fly over. Okay. We're almost there. What, okay. what, what makes your buzzing sound, Abby? It's my wings. Oh, your wings. Of course, of course. Here, we're going to fly down. Oh, wow. This is the front door to our house. These are my sisters down here working. I'm a little bit bigger than they are, but <laughs> it's just the camera puts on 10 pounds, I think. <laughs> Oh, Abby, you're so funny. So look at all these bees. So all of these worker bees, th these are the workers. They're all girls, and they're just starting to fly around. They'll be visiting the trees that are just starting to bloom, and they'll be starting to collect nectar and pollen. Uh, I think, are we going to top, pop the lid and take a quick peek or Yeah, not? let's have a little look. You'll see a whole bunch of us up here on the top. Here, let's just lift up. This is our insulation lid that we put on to keep us warm through the winter. But have a look at this. Wow. Look at that. 50,000 honeybees in this colony and they're doing great. Look at that. As it gets warmer, we'll be able to open it up more and more and you'll be able to see more things. We were kind of hoping it would be a little bit warmer today and that you would be able to see uh, inside. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to show you a clip from last summer when we opened our beehives at Wesley Clover Parks. Take a look. Hey, it's another beautiful day and I'm checking on the bees at our community supported pollination project at Wesley Clover Parks. Um, lots of things in bloom. What I love about the parks is that it's 500 acres of pretty much beautiful fields and forests and so there's just so much for the bees to visit. The June honey flow starting, I'm just going to make sure that all of the hives here have enough space to store honey. Um, maybe add a couple more boxes. They're already kind of stacked high, but uh, lots of honey making to be made. So wish me luck. First things first, I need to light my smoker. Uh, I don't know if I can actually do this though with one hand, but I'll get it started and then you can kind of see. What the smoke does is that it keeps the bees really calm. 
Um, you don't necessarily need a lot of smoke on a beautiful day like this, but it's always good to have it going just in case. It's actually still just going, so I just had to put some extra shavings in it. Put it down, and we're ready to check on the bees. Flowing into the hives here at Wesley Clover Parks, and uh, with honey, what happens is the bees pack these cells full of nectar. Can't quite get the sun to show you how shiny it is, but when it's ready, they cap it off with wax. So this fresh white wax here, that means that there's honey underneath there that's ready. And so what we need to do as beekeepers is wait until these frames are at least 75% capped. And that way we know that there's not too much water. They've finished the job of evaporating off the water from the nectar. So if you look here, underneath this capping, whoa, how awesome is that? I'm gonna eat it. Oh my god, mm. it's so good. It's so good. The queen in this hive is doing an absolutely phenomenal job. In terms of like a laying pattern, this is called a brood pattern, it doesn't get much better than that. It's wall to wall, new baby bees coming. And right there is this hive's queen who's doing such a great job. She's looking in the bottom of each cell. See how she's looking in there? She's looking for an empty one that she can lay an egg in. Let's see if maybe she'll... See it looking, looking, looking. Nope, egg in there, nope, egg in there. Oh, see, look, she's putting her abdomen down in the hole. And she's gonna lay an egg. And then when she's done, she'll come out and she'll keep looking hole after hole after hole. And at this time of the year, she can lay about 2,000 eggs a day. And that's all she does. Oh, there she's going to lay another one. Put her back in the hive. This hive here at the parks is just jam-packed with summer honey. Look at it coming. Look at all the bees. Look at the way they drink up the stuff that I accidentally opened when I took the lid off. Well, all done a few hours later and there's honey supers on all of the beehives and uh, actually made two new colonies. So they're just rocking here at Wesley Clover Parks. Have a wonderful day. Now can I say bye? Yep. Bye. That's it for today. So that we've shown you where bumblebees live, where mason bees live. We've shown you uh, where our honey bees live. And uh, next week, Oh, there's James. Bye. Say bye, James. Yep, we'll see everybody next week. Next week, we're going to tell you all about what honeybees and what bees eat. So tune in next Wednesday at 11. And if you want to catch up on our previous, uh, on our previous episodes, you can do that on our website, which is geesbees.ca slash blog. And uh, we look forward to seeing you then. Bye, Abby. See you later, everyone.